Question 82.16. Questioner, I guess I didn't state that exactly right. What I mean is, since there was no forgetting, since the mind, body, spirits had, in what we call the physical incarnation, their full consciousness, they knew the same thing that they would know while not in the physical incarnation. What was the mechanism of teaching that taught the ways of love in the third density physical prior to the forgetting process? Answer, I am Ra. We ask your permission to answer this query in an oblique fashion as we perceive an area in which we might be of aid. Question 82.17. Questioner, certainly. Answer, I am Ra. Your queries seem to be pursuing the possibility probability that the mechanisms of experience in third density are different if a mind, body, spirit is attempting them rather than a mind, body, spirit complex. The nature of third density is constant. Its ways are to be learned the same now and ever. Thusly, no matter what form the entity facing these lessons, the lessons and mechanisms are the same. The Creator will learn from itself. Each entity has unmanifest portions of learning and, most importantly, learning which is involved with other selves. Question 82.18 Questioner, then prior to the forgetting process there was no concept of anything but service to others polarization. What sort of societies and experiences in third density were created and evolved in this condition? Answer, I am Ra. It is our perception that such conditions created the situation of a most pallid experiential nexus in which lessons were garnered with the relative speed of the turtle to the cheetah. Question 82.19 Questioner, did such societies evolve with technologies of a complex nature, or did they remain quite simple? Can you give me a general idea of the evolvement that would be a function of what we would call intellectual activity? Answer, I am Ra. There is infinite diversity in societies under any circumstances. There were many highly technologically advanced societies which grew due to the ease of producing any desired result. When one dwells within what might be seen to be a state of constant potential inspiration, that which even the most highly sophisticated, in your terms, societal structure lacked, given the non-complex nature of its entities, was what you might call will or, to use a more plebeian term, gusto, or elan vital. Question 82.20 Questioner, did such technological societies evolve travel through what we call space to other planets or other planetary systems? Did some of them do this? Answer, I am Ra. This is correct. Question 82.21 Questioner, then even though, from our point of view, there was great evolutionary experience it was deemed at some point by the evolving logos that an experiment to create a greater experience was appropriate. Is this correct? Answer, I am Ra. This is correct and may benefit from comment. The logos is aware of the nature of the third density requirement for what you have called graduation. Or the previous, if you would use this term, experiments, although resulting in many experiences, lacked what was considered the crucial ingredient, that is, polarization. There was little enough tendency for experience to polarize entities that entities repeated habitually the third density cycles many times over. It was desired that the potential for polarization be made more available. Question 82.22 Questioner, then since the only possibility at this particular time, as I see it, was a polarization for service to others, I must assume from what you said that even though all were aware of this service to others necessity they were unable to achieve it. What was the configuration of mind to the mind, body, spirits at that time? Why did they have such a difficult time serving others to the extent necessary for graduation since this was the only polarity possible? Answer, I am Ra. Consider, if you will, the tendency of those who are divinely happy, as you call this distortion, to have little urge to alter or better their condition. Such is the result of the mind, body, spirit which is not complex. There is the possibility of love of other selves and service to other selves, but there is the overwhelming awareness of the Creator in the self. The connection with the Creator is that of the umbilical cord. The security is total. Therefore, no love is terribly important, no pain terribly frightening, no effort, therefore, is made to serve for love or to benefit from fear. Question 82.23 Questioner, it seems that you might make an analogy in our present illusion of those who are born into extreme wealth and security. 
Is this correct? Answer, I am Ra. Within the strict bounds of the simile, you are perceptive. Question 82.24 Questioner, we have presently an activity between physical incarnations called the healing and review of the incarnation. Was anything of this nature occurring prior to the veil? Answer, I am Ra. The inchoate structure of this process was always in place, but where there has been no harm there need be no healing. This too may be seen to have been of concern to Logwa which were aware that without the need to understand, understanding would forever be left undone. We ask your forgiveness for the use of this misnomer, but your language has a paucity of sound vibration complexes for this general concept. Question 82.25 Questioner, I don't grasp too well the condition of incarnation and the time in between incarnations prior to the veil. I do not understand what was the difference other than the manifestation of the third density, yellow ray body. Was there any mental difference upon what we call death? I don't see the necessity for what we call the review of the incarnation if the consciousness was uninterrupted. Could you clear up that point for me? Answer, I am Ra. No portion of the Creator audits the course, to use your experiential terms. Each incarnation is intended to be a course in the Creator knowing itself. A review or, shall we say, to continue the metaphor, each test is an integral portion of the process of the Creator knowing itself. Each incarnation will end with such a test. This is so that the portion of the Creator may assimilate the experiences in yellow, physical, third density, may evaluate the biases gained and may then choose, either by means of automatically provided aid or by the self, the conditions of the next incarnation. Question 82.26 Questioner, before the veil, during the review of the incarnation, were the entities at that time aware that what they were trying to do was sufficiently polarized for graduation? Answer, I am Ra. This is correct. Question 82.27. Questioner, then I am assuming that this awareness was somehow reduced as they went into the yellow ray third density incarnative state even though there was no veil. Is this correct? Answer, I am Ra. This is distinctly incorrect. Question 82.28 Questioner, okay this is the central important point. It seems to me that if polarization was the obvious thing that more effort would have been put forward to polarize. Let me see if I can state this differently. Before the veil there was an awareness of the need for polarization towards service to others in third density by all entities, whether incarnate in third density, yellow ray bodies or in between incarnations. I assume, then, that the condition of which we earlier spoke, one of wealth you might say, was present through the entire spectrum of experience whether it might be between incarnations or during incarnations and the entities just simply could not manifest the desire to create this polarization necessary for graduation. Is this correct? Answer, I am Ra. You begin to grasp the situation. Let us continue the metaphor of the schooling but consider the scholar as being an entity in your younger years of the schooling process. The entity is fed, clothed, and protected regardless of whether or not the schoolwork is accomplished. Therefore, the entity does not do the homework but rather enjoys playtime, mealtime, and vacation. It is not until there is a reason to wish to excel that most entities will attempt to excel. Question 82.29 Questioner you have stated in a much earlier session that it is necessary to polarize more than 50% service to others to be harvestable fourth density positive. Was this condition the same at the time before the veil? Answer, I am Ra. This shall be the last full query of this working. The query is not answered easily, for the concept of service to self he did not hold sway previous to what we have been calling the veiling process. The necessity for graduation to fourth density is an ability to use, welcome, and enjoy a certain intensity of the white light of the one infinite creator. In your own terms at your space-time nexus this ability may be measured by your previously stated percentages of service. Prior to the veiling process the measurement would be that of an entity walking up a set of your stairs each of which was imbued with a certain quality of light. The stair upon which an entity stopped would be either third density light or fourth density light. Between the two stairs lies the threshold. To cross that threshold is difficult. There is resistance at the edge, shall we say, of each density. 
the faculty of faith or will needs to be understood, nourished, and developed in order to have an entity which seeks past the boundary of third density. Those entities which do not do their homework, be they ever so amiable, shall not cross. It was this situation which faced the Logoa prior to the veiling process being introduced into the experiential continuum of third density. May we ask if there are any brief queries at this working? Question 82.30 Questioner, is there anything that we can do to improve the contact or make the instrument more comfortable? Answer, I am Ra. All parameters are being met. Remain united in love and thanksgiving. We thank you for your conscientiousness as regards the appurtenances. I am Ra. I leave you in the love and in the light of the one infinite glorious creator. Go forth, therefore, rejoicing merrily in the power and the peace of the one creator. Adonai.